Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel, Just Hunters Fan TV, man. Back at you with the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on all the videos, man. Let's get into today's topic. Um, the Ravens 53-man roster is officially settled. Um, the guys that are going to be on the roster, you know, IR stashes, all of that is officially done. So um, let's just talk about the last couple of moves to the Ravens roster, and let's talk about the practice squad in full. And uh, so first off, let's start off with... Um, I saw what the last couple moves the Ravens made to get that 53 man roster to what it's probably going to be week one versus the Houston Texans, right? All right, so they bring back Brent Urban, Kevon Seymour, Josh Johnson, all moves that were expected. And that means that Malik Ham, uh, Keaton Mitchell, and Pepe Williams will go on IR. They'll miss the first four games of the season. Now, um, Malik Ham has an ankle injury, Keaton Mitchell has that shoulder injury that he picked up late in preseason. And Pepe Williams' an ankle injury has been bothering him throughout the entirety of this, this offseason, right? It's the reason that he missed a lot of OTAs and many camps, things like that. He came back in training camp, tried to play on it, and clearly he wasn't right, all right? So he'll get some time to officially really sit down with those injuries and hopefully come back healthier. Now, these are three guys that at some point this year I do think will play for the Ravens and get um, maybe not significant plays, but will play a part in on this team. So, um... For Malik Ham and Keith Mitchell to make this roster is is big deal. It's a big deal for them guys, right? And you know, the Ravens usually have one UDFA that makes the roster, but to have two uh, just shows how special those guys were this year. Uh, especially a guy like Keith Mitchell, who um, pretty much from day one was impressive, right? Um, he was kind of the talk of the town when it comes to the Ravens. Oh, watch out for this guy. Watch out for this guy. Ravens always have a couple of guys like that that people watch out that people say watch out for. It was Keith Mitchell. Uh, Dante Demas and a couple other guys that Ravens fans were excited about before they actually hit the field. But Keaton Mitchell, um, he actually came to fruition with his production, with his play, um, and just how fast he is, man. He really showed and proved on the field that he's worthy of being on the roster. So now he'll get a chance to heal up, come back week five. We'll see if, um, you know, he plays week five, but he'll have a chance to come back. And um, Malik Ham, man, you know, just being a guy that's from Baltimore, uh, we talked about it a lot. You know, he went to, went to high school here, from here, grew up here. To be on the Ravens, make the team. Um, but look, he had to sit down with the ankle injury, but, you know, he made the 53-man roster. That's, that's a blessing. That's a big deal. Um, now, as far as the guys that came back, all right, uh, Brent Urban was expected. The Ravens were really light at, at um, interior offensive linemen. They only had four. So now Brent Urban comes back. They have five now. Um, I know what, what, is one defensive, what is one defensive lineman mean, but still, it's better to have – another guy and another veteran that knows the system that the Ravens trust. The Ravens trust Brent, Brent Urban completely, right? Um, so I'm glad that he's back on the team. It made a lot of sense for him to be back on the team. So um, I'm glad Brent Urban is here, okay? Now, um, Kevon Seymour. Kevon Seymour. Um, this is a Ravens player that last year, if you would have told me he'd be on the team this year, I, was, I would probably say I would be surprised, right? But he stepped up his cornerback play a lot. You know, he's gotten a lot better. He's kind of like a cornerback version of what Delshawn Phillips has been, right? A guy that was thought of as a special teams guy, right? Uh, only, you know what I mean? Like, all right, he'll, if he has to play on defense, we might be in trouble, right? But this offseason, um, he's really stepped it up playing cornerback. Like, really stepped it up playing cornerback. And he's making plays, getting his hands on the football. Uh, he's a guy that is no longer, in my mind, a liability out there. Uh, he's a guy that if he's out there, I think that he can do some things. I see, see a shutdown corner. We're not going to get crazy with it. Of course not. But I think he's a player that's worth having on the roster for special teams purposes. And if you need somebody to fill in that corner, he's up this game. Whereas though that uh, I feel comfortable with him out there. All right. Last guy, Josh Johnson. Now, I, I've been hard on Josh Johnson. I've been hard on the whole idea of him being a guy that's it's a QB competition. Um, especially after, you know, your, your first couple of training camp reports, your first preseason game. But from preseason week two on forward, Josh Johnson's been on fire. And uh, I'm happy that he is back with the Ravens, right? That's not something that, that's another thing that I didn't expect myself to say, right? I, I'm happy that he is back with the Ravens because this is a guy that has vastly improved. Um, it shows why Tom Munkin has uh, has liked him and kind of advocated for him to be on his team. Um, so I'm happy Josh Johnson is back, right? With the new rule, with having three quarterbacks on your roster, it makes sense for the Ravens to take advantage of it. You never want to be in the spot how the 49ers were, all right? Uh, now, listen, that was a, an incredibly rare situation, but you want to be prepared for all things at all times, right? So if Josh Johnson comes in and has to be the third quarterback in the game because, you know, you know, knock on wood, you know what I mean? Um, Lamar Jackson, Tyler Huntley, 
exit the game through injury, I feel okay. I feel okay. So um, I'm glad John Johnson made it back on the roster. Uh, so that's good news. Let's see Ravens 53-man roster and complete those are the last three spots right there. So Brent Urban, Kevon Seymour, Josh Johnson. Uh, and the practice squad. We'll just go over the, the practice squad in full. Um, Anthony Brown, Melvin Gordon, Owen Wright, Ben Mason, Laquan Trellwell, Sean Ryan, Travis Vocalet, Sam Mustafer, uh, Tyshawn Manning, Tykeem Doss, Rashad Nichols, Bravey and Roy, Jamar, J I always, always want to call him Jamario Moon because he's a basketball player. Jeremiah Moon, excuse me, Josh Ross, Daryl Worley, Jeremy Lucian. All right. All right. Now, Anthony Brown, I'm a fan of Anthony Brown. I'm glad he's back. I think that he could eventually be the Ravens' backup quarterback next year if Tyler Huntley goes, if Josh Johnson goes. So I'm glad he's back. Um, let's see. Laquan Trevor was expected. Sean Ryan was a standout during preseason and training camp. I'm glad he was able to land back on the roster. Travis Bokalek, same thing. Preseason standout, training camp standout, catches everything. I'm glad he was able to land back on the roster. Uh, Sam Mustafer is good uh, O-line depth. So the Ravens, he might actually play some games and shit for the Ravens, you know, if injuries occur. Rayshon Nichols has been on the Ravens for a couple of years now. Yeah, I think a couple of years. Uh, he played pretty well in the preseason last year. Didn't hear his name as much this year, but good player. Bravey and Roy, that's the new guy that Ray was pretty much added. Everybody else on here has already been on the team. He's a new guy that they added. Uh, I believe he comes from the Carolina Panthers. Um, so, yeah, a new guy. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I think he might have been the person who caught an interception on Lamar Jackson last year. When, they, when, he threw, when he threw a picture to the D lineman. I think that was him, but I could be wrong. I'll, I'll look it up later. Um, and then Jeremiah Moon was on the team last year. Uh, Josh Ross on the team last year. Uh, kind of got leapfrogged by Delshawn Phillips, you know what I mean? I think I think Delshawn obviously has special teams ability, but also just straight up linebacker play. Delshawn has stepped this game up, so a guy like Josh Ross is kind of taking the back seat, you know what I mean? All right, um, and then a the guy that honestly I'm most excited to be on here is Daryl Worley. Um, Daryl Worley is a guy that I grew up a real fond admiration for last year, late in the season, especially game versus the Bengals where he held his own versus Jamar Chase. I say this all the time, no, he didn't lock him down. But he didn't look like he was a fish out of water out there, right? And that's impressive for a guy that was just coming in and saying, hey, look, you have a uh, guard Jamar Chase. That's impressive. So I'm very happy that he made it back on the roster. Um, they have him more focusing on safety at the moment. But Daryl Worley is a guy to me that the Ravens go through an injury. He's going to play snaps this year. And he's a guy that I have faith that can make a play when he's out there. So um, that's your Ravens roster in full. You know, you got your last three practice. Sorry, your last three 53 man roster spots sealed up. You got your 16 person, 16 man practice squad completely full, and the Ravens are ready to roll, man. We are heading to the regular season. Um, football time, you know, it's a great time of the year. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm happy. Uh, give me, you know, if you guys want to comment on the video, man, give me Ravens record prediction for this year. What do you think the Ravens are going to do this year? Um, I, might, I might do a little bit about that uh, later on in the week, but just for right now, that's your uh, your Ravens roster in full, man. But thank you guys for watching this game. Just on the Fan TV, I'm out.